All toy restorations will be handled by the YouTubers controlling each gem. Reproduction parts may not be used where there are Star Wars forms. Toy restorers and collectors are available. Analog toys. Retro blasting. Toy Galaxy. Geek Force. Zarnista Studios. And Toy Poloi. Toy Poloi has been assigned. Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Today we're going to look at supercharging a vintage He-Man and the Masters of the Universe Ram Man. Now this is a toy as a child I always wanted one of and I actually never managed to get one as a kid. I made one out of felt and that was the best I sort of could do. Uh, but it's only when I was an adult I did actually manage to track down a, you know, a working Ram Man. And as you can see I've got a few of them. But when I finally got one I realised he's actually a bit rubbish. The uh, spring mechanism I always thought sort of fired Ram Man sort of quite far in the air and really forcefully forward. But as I found out, the spring inside is pretty weak and more often than not these days you'll find Ram Man with that spring broken so he doesn't even sort of spring up to his full height. Now let's have a quick look at that. This is a, an original Ram Man and this guy's spring does work. You can see I can do that and he springs up and down. But if I let him fire off, let's, I'll just uh, activate the little switch on the back of his foot you can see he barely jumps any distance at all. It's in fact a very disappointing toy. There's just no oomph to it. So what I want to do is take this Ram Man apart and give him a much bigger spring inside, something that gives him a little bit of oomph and will really fire him a great distance. And as I say, often you'll find these don't work anyway and they're a pretty cheap toy to find. In fact, this one here I just picked up off eBay, it cost me £2.50 plus postage, so a bargain figure. Um, I thought it was broken when I bought it, but actually it's turned up it does work. So I'm going to supercharge this one anyway. I was hoping to actually have a broken one to show you sort of the, the process right from it not working, but it doesn't matter, it will be the same process. Now what we've got to do is actually get this figure open. Like all He-Man figures they are glued shut so there's no way of easily prizing these open. But with Ram Man he's made of quite a solid plastic so uh, what we're going to do is actually I'm going to take this out to the garage and I'm going to get my hammer and I'm going to sort of give him a bit of a whack all along the seam just gently sort of tapping him with my hammer hoping that at some point it will start to crack and if it starts to crack I can then get a knife in or something and twist it and crack it a bit more. We don't need to split the whole figure apart, we just need to split this bottom section apart so that his legs will come out. Once we've done that then we can start uh, changing the spring. But first off we've actually got to give him a bit of a wallop with a hammer and hopefully he'll crack along the seam. So uh, let's give this a go. That's it, it really is just a couple of gentle taps. What you want to do is rest this bottom part of his skirt on a piece of wood and try and hit this top part of the skirt. Obviously his arm's slightly in the way so you've got to hit it at a slight angle but doing that causes these two parts to break apart. You can see I've broken the join just on one side and that really is all you need because I can now twist this body open enough that I can get his legs out. It's uh, really a very simple process to do. So you can see there, I've now got his legs out and that means we have access to the spring and the mechanism. As you can see here, this is the spring that is inside Ram Man. It's a really very weedy looking spring. And quite often if you do, uh, take these apart, you'll find that the spring is broken. So here's another one from one that I've already uh, sort of worked on and that has snapped. And when they, these snap, uh, the legs no longer work. That's why you often see Ram Man uh, sort of really low to the ground. Uh, the spring has snapped. But uh, now that we have access to this we can take some measurements and order uh, a better and bigger spring. So uh, let's take some measurements and I'll show you exactly what you need. So this spring is a compression spring and the reason it's a compression spring is because you can press it like that together and then it springs apart. So uh, what you need to do is uh, buy a new compression spring and actually on this one if we measure it you can see it's just about eight centimeters long. So we know that is the first measurement we need to look for which is an eight centimeter long spring. We then measure 
the uh, diameter, which on this is about six, possibly seven millimeters. So it's a seven millimeter diameter by eight centimeter length. Now on this, you can see how thin the wire is, and that's uh, what makes it quite a sort of weak spring. Uh, you can buy them with different uh, diameters of wire used, and that's exactly what I've done. So I went onto eBay and I found this. So this is an eight centimeter long spring, uh, and it is uh, seven millimeters wide, but the uh, amount of coils and the thickness of the wire used is about 0.7 millimeters, uh, and it makes it a much firmer, much stronger spring. You can buy them this week, but uh, what's the point of that? What we want is this ram man to fly really quite far. So this is what I bought. So the exact dimensions you need to look for is a 0.7 diameter wire, a seven millimeter diameter coil and an eight centimeter long spring. Uh, there are plenty of sellers. This actually came from China. I bought a bag of five of them. I think it cost about £3.50, uh, but uh, it's, it's going to do exactly what I want it to do. We can do a test firing because actually before I want to uh, sort of put this fully together, we might as well restore him. You can see how battered and damaged this guy is. There's lots of chips all over. And I've already done a video on uh, how to restore Ram Man and get all of his paint looking right. So I'm going to do that. But before we do that, let's do one test firing. So you can see inside his body just about there is what looks like quite a nasty point. It looks actually looks like a nail, but it's actually a piece of plastic. So what we do is we take the spring we drop that onto there so you can see it now sort of sticks out of the bottom of Ram Man and we can start lining this up so that spring goes into the hole in the top of his legs and then we're going to have to sort of manhandle him a bit because this we need to pull the body back open where we've cracked it along the seam line and we can wiggle this piece back in like so there we go now this will work even without me re-gluing him. You can immediately see how much springier he is. I'll rearrange my camera and we'll do one quick test firing before I sort out the paint on him. So I've not done anything more to him apart from what I just showed you there. We can lock him in place. I'll turn him to the side just because I can then access the button and I'll show you how much uh, faster and further he will fire. There you go. You can see he now jumps a pretty good height. It's uh, considerably better than what he was uh, when we started, which was basically he didn't even leave the ground. Now you can see he leaves the top of the screen. But what I want to do, as I said, is uh, get him all fixed up. So let's uh, take him back apart and we'll give him a, a quick uh, sort of bit of a paint and a bit of a touch up and make him look as good as new. Thank you. 
the last thing we need to do is now actually just sort of glue his body back together and we're going to be using some uh, plastic weld for this. Uh, the plastic used in uh, Round Man's body uh, works particularly well with this type of uh, solvent so basically I'm just going to prise apart the body just a little bit where it is cracked and then get some plastic weld on a brush and uh, just drop it into that gap. You don't need a huge amount. You could actually use super glue or something like that but uh, as I know plastic weld works well with this plastic and I have some I'm just going to use that. So there you go, just dropped a little bit in and we'll squeeze that together and that will set pretty firmly. Then we can give him a full test. Uh, just so you can see the difference in these figures before we fire them off. This is an original one which I haven't done any work on. So you can see the spring is really quite easy to push down. There's not much effort involved in that. And this is one that I have re-sprung. And you can see that this takes an awful lot more force to uh, get the spring to lock in place. And it really uh, is going to make a massive difference. As you can see behind the figure at the back, I put a little height chart so we can uh, do some tests. I'm going to first off fire an original figure. We'll see how high that one goes and then I'll fire off one of these with the new spring and we can see how high we can make that one go. As you can see, it is pretty crazy. It's a massive difference. The original figures barely get off the ground. In fact, you'd be hard pushed to even notice them uh, leaving the floor. But the one with the new spring actually goes higher than my chart. I did the uh, chart up to 25 centimetres and it actually gets between 30 and 35 centimetres. So really very high off the ground. And you can see it was a relatively straightforward thing to do. Uh, splitting the body feels a little bit risky, but I've done it a couple of times now and, and both of them have split quite neatly uh, around the skirt area if you hit that area with a hammer uh, so it is possible to do and if you want to just sort of replace the spring in a broken one then you can buy springs that are a lot less forceful than the ones that I put in but when I set out to do this I really wanted to make this a sort of a, an upgrade and a supercharged version of Ram Man. And that's it for this uh, customization and repair video. If you want to see my full video on restoring a vintage Masters of the Universe Ram Man, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video and also in the description. I also have a video on how to repair the handles on the axis, so I'll put that there as well. Uh, I need to say a big thank you to Bass, who very kindly sent me a uh, large donation of uh, Masters of the Universe toys very recently, and one of these Ram Mans was uh, the one that he sent me and sort of spurred me on to doing this uh, customization. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.